Growing up, I had loved college football, um, grew up playing football, and realized that I wasn't going to be good enough to play at the highest level of college football. So I decided to pursue a career that would allow me the opportunity to still be around something that I was so passionate about and I love so much. Um, and really just chasing that career led me to four different schools um, and eventually to, to ultimately to Penn State University. And so in my career, I was responsible for uh, marketing and communications, specifically for recruiting um, and trying to convince these high school prospects, their families, and, and even their coaches uh, that Penn State or whatever school I was at was going to be the best fit for them. As I worked my way up from through all these different schools and avenues, you can finally make it to a school like Penn State and feel like, wow, you really have made it. Like this is a big deal, top ten program, and loving the work you do, but just realize that it's not it's not having an eternal impact and it's not making the the greatest difference that it could in people's lives. It just really left left me unfulfilled. And I really started thinking about leaving a career in college football that I worked so hard for to a career in ministry. So I started looking uh, communication roles through the Slingshot Group and their site and, and saw this communications director position at, at Cross Point City Church in Carsville, Georgia. So I came here to Cross Point to pastor this church about nine and a half years ago. And at the time, the church was climbing out of a crisis season. And so I had no idea what was going to happen. But fortunately, God blessed it. And with just uh, within a, a few short years, we saw some pretty substantial growth. A lot of new people coming to church. We were hiring a lot of new staff. And while it was exciting, it also brought on a host of new challenges. Things got really complicated across many uh, ministry areas, including communications. And so as a result, we decided to, for the very first time, hire a communications director. And so we brought on a guy with the help of some of our friends at Slingshot to not only help us internally, but to help us with communication for the sake of mission as it concerned the communities in which we were serving. So what I love about what we get to do in ministry at Slingshot Group is that we get to partner with the church, but we also get to partner with the candidate. You know, for the church, we get to talk through what that position could look like, what the needs would be, and try to figure out what a great fit would be for that role in that church. But then we also get to walk alongside with the candidate and figure out what that season of transition is looking like for them and help navigate that process with them. And I still remember just working with Cross Point City and, and that moment where I got Seth's application and I was just blown away right away by, by just the talent this guy had and the potential fit of what God could be doing and the story he was writing for the communications director role at Cross Point City. I was really nervous uh, even having that conversation, the initial conversation um, with Phil. And once we had our initial conversation, it was really laid back, really easy going to, to talk with Phil and um, really helped, helped calm me down of the fact that you know, I'm going into industry and ministry that I had never worked in before and really just had a lot of uncertainties around that. And I was able to get some resources that would help set me up for success on a new uh, career and a new field that I had no familiarity with. So I still remember our first initial phone call with Seth Reedy and within a very short amount of time, it was really clear that this guy's skilled, this guy's likable, it seems that he would fit our culture. And so as we continued through the process with him and just really prayed over each candidate, again, it became increasingly clear that this was our guy. And so I'll never forget reaching back out with that final offer, that final phone call, uh, extending to him to come be a part of our team. And we're so grateful that he's been with us. So looking back and just being grateful for how this process is, is number one, just really my wife for, for her support and pushing me and, and helping me along this journey. And then for Slingshot for their willingness to, to walk through this with us and just how, um, how this whole process has been. So before uh, my payoff would be, you know, in the wins and as great as those were and as fun as those were, um, it, it isn't nearly as exciting as the payoff is now and just seeing the, uh, seeing people's lives changed, hearing stories and getting to share and tell those stories of uh, people finding freedom and being saved, just the total life transformation that happens here every single week.